Hi everybody and welcome to this video premiere. This is not live, but we are in the chat watching this video with you. I'm in there, Rob's in there, and the company that made these dentures is also in the chat. You should see a little button down below that says chat. If you click on that, it'll open up and, and you'll see you'll see the chat and you'll also be able to comment and ask questions. I made these dentures in this video. You're going to watch me make these dentures and wear them. I did a wear test on these. At the end of the video, you'll see a little bit of that. But I'm going to post a whole nother video wearing these dentures. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I couldn't be more happier with these. These are affordable, $179 in arch for an immediate denture is awesome. That's an awesome price. I was able to fit my nephew with these. He has gone without upper teeth for two years. So after I got these dentures in, I got a hold of him and I said, can you, um, here's a picture of him by the way, come over here and let's try to fit you in these dentures. And he, just the smile on his face after they were put in his mouth and we worked with them it, it, it was just amazing just to see him I caught him I have a big mirror in my kitchen and I just caught him he looked up and saw himself and just the sweetest smile he had it was just worth it it's just worth it all so keep watching and yeah welcome to the premiere I'm I'm just so excited to bring these to you this takes away these immediate dentures they are thermoplastic and if you know, there are thermoplastic products out there like Cushion Grip, Dentac, and I talk about that in the video. It takes away, you don't need any of that with these dentures because they are thermoplastic. So, and you can reform them as your gums shrink. So you'll see in the video what I mean. Keep watching and um, say hi to me in the chat and, and say hi to us. All right, here on with the video. I can't tell you how excited I am to bring you this product. I mean, really, when I got this box in the mail of these immediate dentures that are gonna be so affordable for everyone, I opened the box and I cried. I actually cried because it's like, I remember sitting in the dental chair and the dentist telling me, you need all your teeth pulled out. You're gonna have to have immediate dentures and permanent dentures and everything. And I'm all, the cost. The cost is something, it's like that alone hits you in the chest because you know this is an expensive thing to do. Getting dentures, it, it's expensive. So I want to show you the easy denture. I am so, I'm not even going to wait. Here we go. I am so excited to show you these. I, 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 I can't tell you how many messages and comments and just. And I've gotten over the last two years of people that can't afford immediate dentures or they pay too much for their immediate dentures or they go without teeth for months because they can't afford it and they're so embarrassed they don't know what to do. We have the solution. The solution is here. I am so excited to show you this. This is the, this is the easy denture. This one's open. And it is a thermoplastic denture with acrylic resin teeth that you can melt and mold and fit into your mouth and wear it until you get your permanent dentures. And when your gums shrink, you can mold it again, put it in the hot water and mold it again because this is a custom fit denture to you that you can just do in five minutes. It's, it's that simple. So what exactly is this? Dr. Otero, he is a practicing dentist in North Carolina and he saw the need for an immediate denture that people could afford and wear until they got their permanent dentures. He's also gone on several mission trips, helping people in the dental world. And last year he gave over $100,000 of dentures away, these dentures, because he wants to make this very for affordable. He wants everybody to have one that needs one. And he's kept the price low. It's well, well, well under $200. And 
I, I'm just, I'm excited. Can you tell? In in 2020, this, this product won the Edison Award, a gold Edison Award for the top dental innovation. This is going to be amazing. This is going to change so many people's lives. I'm so excited. Here it is. They come in two different sizes, okay? They come in small, medium, and medium, large. Small, medium is for women and smaller men, and the large is for bigger men. And I'm going to show you the difference. I have them both here. We're also going to make this denture, and I'm going to wear it for like a week and film as I go because you can clean these regularly. You can use adhesive. When your gums start shrinking, you can reform them to fit your gums so there's no need for any other relines or thermoplastic. And like thermoplastic, when you think thermoplastic, cushion grip is thermoplastic. Um, Dentatch is thermoplastic. Comfort lining is thermoplastic. These are thermoplastic. Same thing. Same concept. You boil them and you can put them in your mouth. But these you can reboil to fit your mouth again. So here's the large and here's the medium size. Let me see if I can get my fingers out the way so you can see this. Hold on. So here's the large. It's only a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. We're going to turn them over because I want to show you this. Large and the medium. Now you notice they're missing the back molars on both teeth. And they did that so it will be more universal. It'll fit more people. So they found that taking that back molar off just helped helped a lot more people get a good, good fit. Um, Dr. Otero actually uses these in his practice. And there's many, many, many good reviews on, on these dentures. So now let me show you the lower denture, okay? They come in a plastic bag. You open them up. We're gonna open these up. Michelle didn't do that before the bishop. Do, listen, I can't talk. I didn't do that before we started filming the video. Did I do that? Nope. I'm excited to try these. I really am. And really, I did cry when I got these because it's like, oh, the, the people that this can help. Okay, let me get my fingers out the way. This one is the larger one, and this is the small medium. This is the small medium and the medium large. And if you notice again, the back molars are missing on the lowers too for the same reason. It'll give more people a better fit. So I, I'm just excited. And when you get the kit, I'm going to leave a link to their website also. But when you get the kit, you can tell that the teeth, the teeth are not polished. When they made this design, they found it worked better not polishing the teeth. Okay. So, but they do send a polishing tool cloth that you can polish them yourself. Also, also your saliva, your saliva itself will, will make your teeth shiny. I've learned that with using Denture Box. So in the kit comes the polishing cloth in these very, very, very detailed instructions with pictures and, and just step-by-step -step instructions. We're going to do this together. I'm excited. So now think about this. Just take, just take a thought about this. So these are $179. So you spend that on your immediate denture and you wear them, you can wear that for up to 36 months. You can reboil it up to 20 times. And yeah, I'm excited. You can reboil it up to 20 times and keep the fit. You can keep your fit going until you get your permanent dentures. So then when you get your permanent dentures, you know, you go to the dentist or you go somewhere else or whatever. They're six to six to $10,000, depending on where you're at and what you're getting. If you contact DentureBox, I'm wearing DentureBox teeth. I've had these for over a year. These are, DentureBox is an at-home kit that you can do with them. Call, you do a call with them. They help you do the impressions. You get try-ins. You can actually keep your try-in and wear it. It's not wax. It's out of a harder material because these are computer printed. So you can get that that this this denture this immediate denture and then go into the denture box dentures at 
about the 12 month mark and spent under $1,700 on the whole kit and caboodle. That's not the extractions. You have, that doesn't include the price of the extractions. Okay, I'm, my tongue is twisted. I'm excited. So, I mean, you get these, you get these immediate dentures and then you go right into these. Mm. Denture box dentures. That's what I'm wearing. These are my permanent, you know. Okay, let's get to making these teeth. I'm excited. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to film me eating and drinking coffee because you can drink coffee. And I think I said you can wear adhesive and you just clean them like you normally would clean your denture. So I'm going to get my water ready and I'll be right back. Okay, while my water's boiling, I'm going to start to tell you. Right here, it has your boil instructions for either the stovetop, the microwave, or an electric kettle. I put four inches of water in a bowl. Um, and put it in the microwave for five minutes. We did that. So when we get that out, the water out, we'll get the water out. You get a slotted spoon, slotted spoon, slotted, slotted spoon. And then you put the denture into the water and you leave it in there for 60 seconds. We're going to time it no longer than 60 seconds. You then scoop it with your spoon, take it out, put it on a plate, and wait until it's cool to the touch, like warm, warm, still warm, but pliable, but not hot, so it'll burn you. So you, you want to wait, it says here, just a few seconds, place to cool for 60 seconds. Okay, we're going to wait 60 seconds again, and then you want to put it in your mouth. So here's some things that it says, lick your lips. And then place in the upper denture, we're going to do the upper one first, into mouth, pushing it toward the roof of your mouth so you can try to get the good suction. And then we're going to try to do the sides of the denture. We're going to do all that. And you're, when I did the denture box impressions, it's very important to push the flanges up. So you're going to see me pushing my flanges up because that is what helps seal the denture. So you know, get a good seal on the back. but here we go but you want the flanges up and then you suck your thumb for when all that's done we're gonna suck for about 15 seconds and that'll help get a better seal and then we're gonna put it in cool water and then it is ready to go what don't i have i don't have a plate it is hot okay let me move you down so you can watch and then i'm gonna move you up kind of quick all right so when i ask them if there was any anything that would help. They said, do this with the teeth down. So we're gonna put this in the water with the teeth down. I think in the picture it shows the teeth up. We're gonna do the teeth down and I'm gonna go set a timer on my microwave. So we're gonna, and it says be careful not to splash. So here we go, let me go set my timer. Okay, 60 seconds is up. We're gonna take it out, scoop it out of here and let it sit on this plate for another 60 seconds. All right, I'm gonna move you up because when that timer goes off, we're gonna put this in my mouth. And if we mess up, the good thing is we can re, you're crooked, we can redo it. So now we're gonna touch it and see if it's okay. It's okay. Let's put it in my, oh, it's pliable. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. Lick your lips and your gums. Uh-huh. Oh, I hear I hear it in the rack. In the rack. Put out your side. Okay. Let's go one. And then suck. Oh, it is.
All right. Oh, hold on. <laughs> There's the shape of my mouth. Oh my gosh. Now we're going to put it in cold water. Let it sit in the cold water so it can cure cold water. And then we're going to make the lower denture. I think I'm going to. It also says if you need to trim some, you could trim some off. You know, if some, too much goes out the back or if it's bothering you up on the sides. But wear it first before you decide that it's hurting. That's what I would do. All right, so that's sitting in the cool water. Okay, look at this. Here we go. I have a denture that you saw how hard that was for me to take out of my mouth. Okay, see, I push the sides up, push your flanges up when you do it. And you saw me adjust a little bit when I was sucking on my thumb. If you need to do that, because a little bit of this started coming forward, so I pushed it back. I, I did that, but oh, holy crap. Oh, let's make the, let's make the bottom one. Okay. I'm going to put this water back in the microwave for about three minutes. Okay. Right off the bat, I am going to make, remake the top. We're going to remake this top one. I'm going to remelt it and do it because I forgot one step. The midline. You want to try to get the center, the center right here, right here with your nose. And I forgot to do that. So mine's sitting off a little bit and I'm like, eh, no, I want to fix that. So we're going to remold these and, and do it again and see how it does. Because it says, if you don't like how it fits, you can do it again. So let's, let's do it again and see how it does. All right. We're going back into hot water. Eep, bring you down. Okay. Back in the hot water. I'm going to go set my timer for 60 seconds. All right, we're gonna get him back out of here and set the timer again. Put him on the plate. I'm gonna go set the timer again for 60 seconds. Behind you, me filming, is a big mirror. So I'm gonna head to that mirror for a second so I can get that midline. See, see that big mirror? I'm gonna go stand in front of that big in front of that big mirror just for a little bit to just to get my midline lined up and then I'll be right back. Okay, the 60 seconds is back up. So back in the mouth they go and I'll be right back. Mm. I'm I'm lined up. We're seeing a layer up. I'm going to go check it one more time. Okay, you ready? In the cold water they go. See, look at that. And I can tell you they're a little more comfortable the second time I molded them. So if you mold them the first time and they're like, no, this isn't very comfortable, and do it again because it's much, much softer for me, for me anyway now. So we're going to let that sit in there for 30 seconds and then wear it. And even if you don't get a really huge, tight, tight, tight seal, which, I mean, if you just got, you can do this the day of your extractions. You could make this if, to have a denture. So, and your gums are going to be swollen also. So, there's enough material there to, to do that. Um, like I said, you could trim it also if you need to. And I was saying something and it just left me. Welcome to my life. Okay, we're going to get these out. Slotted spoon. We're going to get them out and check them out. And then we're going to do the lower one. Because my midline is better now. Look at that. I got my, my flanges up. 
And see that little bit hanging right there? I'm leaving that there. I'm not trimming anything here off. What I would trim, if it bothered me, would be up up on the up here. But you want that as high as it can be so you get that good suction. But I, I'm not trimming any of that. It's not over my teeth. See how it's kind of down there? Because the next time, the material will still be in there. The next time I mold these, that'll still be there. So I, I'm leaving that. If it's too long in your back, if it's gagging you or something, trim off a little bit. Get a little pair of scissors. Trim just a little bit off at a time. Not a lot. Because you need this back area to have a good suction too. So you get your suction from here, the back, in, in here. All right, let's make the bottom ones now. So we got the water. I have, I'm using the same water. I'm just reheating it till it. Okay, so we got the water. Teeth down. Did I do the other one? Yeah. 60 seconds. The timer's going and I'll be back. Okay, let's do the lower one. And then I'm going to, we have to put the upper teeth in because I need to bite. But look at us. Press down. And then get the flanges down. Just like back there. You can Let me check my midline. Okay. Now I'm gonna put these top ones in and bite down. All right, put them back in cold water, and we'll let them sit there. And if these are not comfortable again, make these again. You know, make them and then bite down with the lower. Do what works for you. This is genius. All right, I'm going to put these in now, and I can tell you this is just like the first day I got my immediate dentures. That's what it feels like exactly what this feels like so if you're thinking oh my gosh something's wrong it's what it feels like and when I talk I do have a little bit of a gag and we're gonna show you how I fix that because these fit me When I go to talk, I gag. Now, I am not new at extractions. I'm not, I'm two years out. My gums have done all the shrinking it's gonna do. So I'm drying these off right now. And I am going to put some adhesive in these because they're moving, the top one is moving just a little bit. And we're gonna see if that takes away that, that gag effect. I'm using secure adhesive. I'm getting a toothpick from the Magic Cupboard. One day we ought to do a cupboard tour. What's the this thing? We won't do that. Um, okay, so I'm using a secure adhesive because this is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite adhesive. I'm going to put some on here. You might have to use adhesive too, but for $179, I would use adhesive if you have to. You might not have to use adhesive. You might get a great seal out of it. I did not. It was okay. It just moved a little bit. And it, it feels like the first day I had my immediate dentures in. And that's what this should feel like. My immediate dentures were loose at first. Also, had to do this. I couldn't wait to use adhesive when my extractions dried. So we're, I'm going to just add some on here too, around there. I'll tell you what, they did, they went around my ridge great. Okay, let's pop these in and see if it works. 
Oh, it's gonna work, I can tell you. They might not be loose on you at first. Okay, I have these in. And I did trim a little bit off the back bottom. I should have showed you. But what, here's what I did. Okay, let me show you. This back bottom, it was very, going back very far and making me gag. That's why I was gagging. So I stuck the tip of this in this hot water. Just the tip of the back in the hot water. And then I took my little scissors because then it was able, you're able to cut it. And then I just snipped off some, put it back in my mouth, reformed it a little back here. And if I needed to, I did that again. So that's one tip I can give you. Even on the back, if you think you're gagging from the back, it went back too far, then do that again. Do, do, to, to put the little back end of it. Oh, this is so good. Put this little back end of it in the hot water. And then get your little scissors and trim. Put it back in your mouth. Because you'll notice it. you might need to do that. And that's the way I did it. That's the easiest way to do this. Because once it's cured, it's, you can't cut it. I tried. Now, this part right here, this palette... Here's my permanent denture from Denture Box. This is all acrylic. All of the whole thing's acrylic, okay? This is not acrylic. This is thermoplastic, all of this. So when you push it up in your mouth, you're pushing the um, thermoplastic in your mouth. That's what you're doing. And if you see any little holes forming, because when I reformed it twice after I took it out, when I started to reform it twice, I saw a tiny little hole starting right here. There was no material. I just squished it together. It was no big deal. I just squished it together. Um, so this, if you see the thermoplastic on the bottom of the denture, which I don't know what the black thing is. It's probably something I had in my mouth. Okay, that's me. If you see this, on the thermoplastic on this side, you're, you're okay. That's supposed to be that way. So... And I lined it up, but my flanges are big. <laughs> I made them. I made sure my flanges went way up here. I may end up having to trim a little bit here, and I might have to dip this in hot water, just the tip of it, just to trim it. So think, remember that. Um, adhesive, I'm probably going to wear adhesive with these. I feel more comfortable. They're not moving around or anything. Um... I didn't mention when you're doing the bottom denture, as you're pushing this bottom flange down around here, and make sure you push it down inside your mouth, and you'll get these. So these are comparable to, let me go get my immediate dentures, hold on. These don't fit me at all. These are two, I'm two years out, they don't fit me at all. But I mean, look. And this is higher because that's where I formed it. And that I might may end up trimming. And again, it's missing the back molar. And also, one more thing. Um, you're going to notice that this is soft material very also. And it's flexible. It doesn't just go this way. It'll flex this way. So in and out, it'll flex so it fits your denture or your gum line good. I'm going to eat with these. I'm going to drink with these. I'm going to clean these. I'm going to do everything I do normally. We're going to just keep going. So I'm going to post another video on, on just wearing these and, and for, filming my life. You know, I'm going to get through the gag because every once in a while I still have it, but that's normal. Right now, I didn't use the buff cloth. I didn't do that. It said kind of wait a little bit and see if, see what happens with your saliva. So we're going to do that. Um, you might see me buffing them and seeing how they look. Just a lot of things. I'm going to leave a link in my description if you can want to go check these out. I mean, for $179, teeth that you can fit yourself. So here's some tips I have for you. When you're making your bottom denture, this one, make sure you push down inside too. Okay. You have to push down on the inside 
I didn't do that. I just, you saw me push my flanges out on the outside. Do it on the inside too. I did forget to do that. So make sure you do that. Um, this palette, this palette, this is my immediate denture. This is all acrylic. This, this palette is all thermoplastic. This is not acrylic. So when this gets warm and hot, you'll have this, this will also melt, you know, how it, it forms and you can push it way high up into your hair. So, and if you need to trim a little off the back, I found it's easier because I needed to trim a, a little off my back. Okay, do this with me because your dentures are, I'll show you how far back your dentures need to sit. Mine were sitting too far back and I did trim a little bit off this back and I'm going to show you how I did that. But put your finger in your mouth and slide it all the way back. Do you feel the bone stop into a soft palette? Well, where that bone stops, that is where this denture line is supposed to sit. It's supposed to sit right there. So what I did to make it easy, because once this is hard, you can't cut it. You you just can't. You pretty much need a Dremel to do that. So I just dipped, dipped my back end in here. I just dipped my back end in there until it got a little soft and took my trusty see there's a piece there took my trusty little piece scissors piece that yeah, and trimmed just a little bit little slivers little slivers at a time and you can do that to your back bottom too if it just feels like you're gagging too much and it's too big just dip dip it in hot water and then put it back in your mouth and make sure that you reshape it just do that. I got sticky all over me. So anyway, our pull. I also know when I did my impressions with Denture Box, we pushed the flanges all the way up and then we pulled my foot down just to make sure it got up in there. So you might want to do that too. Um, we're going to probably reform these in, I don't know, a week or so. I'm going to learn to talk with these again, get through the gag. And the next time, hold on. A gag, sorry. The next time, swallow, that I reform these, I think I'm going to try to push these teeth up a little higher. There was room in there to do that. I just didn't do it this time. This is the first time I ever made these. So now I know I'm going to try to push this up a little higher. You know, but there's room to do that. And then I, it won't show so much gum when I smile. You know, so anyway. Do I approve of these? Heck yeah, 179 bucks. You can wear these, you know, for until you get your immediate dentures, which you don't get your immediate dentures for at least 11 to 12 months. Contact Denture Box for, you know, get it, the whole should be gold. These from this company, Denture Box. You, you can't beat that, you know. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video and, and keep, keep watch because we're going to, we're going to eat and do all the things with this. All right. I'll see you next time. The gag's getting a little better and the talk's getting a little better already. All right. I'll see you next time. We're going to start with pizza. I just made these. This is day one. Me making these easy dentures. Um, I have coffee. I've already had coffee. In fact, I heated my coffee up for like three minutes in the microwave and tried to drink that and it was really hot. And guess what? It didn't do anything to my dentures. This has been probably overcooked because I do that here. Mm -hmm. That was a big bite. Oh. My teeth aren't moving at all. Okay, same day, we are back. It's been like three or four hours, and I can tell you things that I've noticed. For one, they're starting to fit better. They feel they feel really good in my mouth. I quit gagging, so you know I did talk. I talked a lot, so I'm not gagging anymore. I'm not gagging at all. And can you tell that I have these in here? Okay, it's morning. Welcome, welcome to my morning. I'm, um, yeah, welcome to my morning. Okay. I've got these sitting in, I put them in this Tupperware thing because 
I have a lot, like these are my immediate dentures. This case is taken up. Here's my denture box dentures. This case is taken up. I do have another case, but I didn't want to go digging for it. So Tupperware it is. So I just, like I said, put them in cold water overnight and they're, they're still holding their shape. So we're gonna clean these together. I'm gonna go back up a little bit so you can see the top of my head. All right, my thoughts about having these dentures in for almost 24 hours. This is a, what do we gonna call this? The second day, we might as well, cause I wore them all day yesterday. I made them in the morning. Yeah, so we'll call this the second day. If you can afford these, buy them. They're just like my immediate dentures. Now, you're going to have a harder time after your extractions, don't forget, it, it, they might, you're going to have a harder time because you have sores and you have to get used to wearing dentures. So just like me, when I had my immediate dentures, these are very similar to my immediate dentures. It feels like it, it same thing, same thing. So just take your time, go slow and just if you have trouble molding them, I'm going to make another video on exactly what I did and the tricks that I learned. So it'll be a faster video than this. So I I don't have any problems with these. I, I, none, none. So I'll be back later. Not sure when, but I'll be back maybe later tonight or tomorrow. We'll do a quick update and I'll check in and I'll let you know how these are doing.